All right, guys, so in front of me is an amazing owner of this uh, 1999 Mercedes W140. There you guys have it, all right? His name is Anthony. Anthony, uh, tell us uh, a couple of things about this car. When did you find this car? How and what was condition of this car? Um, I found this car about a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. uh, a friend of mine had <clears throat> about 20 cars parked in his house, all run down, most of them. The condition of this car was pretty bad. It was very, every tire was flat, had no battery, um, no fluids, very, very dirty, but I saw the potential. I, I thought there was something to be had there. And uh, I just filled up all the fluids, did basic things, um, got tires, got a battery, got it running. And um, from there, I eh, had, had a couple problems here and there, but the main thing was uh, catalytic converter, got jam packed and um, eventually what happened is uh, where we're at right now which yeah. is uh, blown head gasket so uh, you've owned it you've owned this car for about one and a half years and um, what made you start tearing this thing apart like did you what was like the, the biggest uh, symptom of this car would you say um, loss of power mm -hmm. complete loss of power um, it was when I first, like I said, when I first got it, filled up all the fluids, got tires, got a battery. The thing was, was driving fairly nicely. I mean, I would, I would be on the freeway and the next thing I know I was doing 90 and I wasn't even trying to. Towards the end, which is about two, two, three months ago at the most, when it stopped, um, the, uh, the car would bear, I mean, in order for me to get going 75, 80 on the freeway, I had to have momentum. I'd have to just slightly going down press like pedal to forever. the floor mm -hmm. yeah going up that's crazy inclines it was i was the slowest person on the on the incline going 35 40 miles an hour and if i like gunned it, it the car would almost stall mm -hmm. so now uh so now uh did you actually notice the coolant mixture with oil yes. uh in this engine as well okay well i did i did um at the very the very end before it stopped actually running um i uh one, one day it started to overheat and, and I was just really frustrated with it not going when I gassed it. So I just mm -hmm. was at a stoplight and I just started going like yeah, yeah. gunning it, gunning it, trying to clear whatever was, I, right, know, right. I didn't know the mm -hmm. catalytic converter was clogged. And so I was just gunning it, gunning it and it just went boom, and it overheated pretty, pretty bad. Mm -hmm. and, and I pulled over and then from there it was, gotcha. just, I, I think the, the gasket had been blown mm -hmm. prior to that, but that yeah it, really it was is. probably original but i just wanted to say big thank you to anthony for saving this amazing car for not giving up and thank you. yeah thank you you're welcome yeah so one of the last questions i have for you is uh what did you think about me when i texted you for the first time offering like just free help about this car <laughs> yeah that's what you thought right you know was, who the heck would just come to your house and fix this car for free or just help you do something right yeah. it was a surprise for you huh? absolutely that's crazy. Really, really pleasant surprise because uh, I totally thought there was some ulterior motive or some yeah <laughs> scam going on. I, I didn't know what, but it just didn't seem right. It's, it's crazy. It's sad that that's how things are. But yeah, but hey, uh, you know, I'm happy to help you out. And like I said, this is my last day today, but we will be able to uh, do a lot of stuff to uh, this car, and uh, I'll I'll show you everything how to put all this stuff back together, awesome. so you can get this car back on the road and you can enjoy it. And uh, after it's fixed, you should promise me that you won't sell this car. I will not. You will love this car. It. Hell yeah. All right, Anthony, you're awesome. Thanks right. for everything. That might work, we can probably figure it out, but yeah, we're gonna have to probably counter hold that while I try to loosen that no bolt. Okay, so we just remove the cylinder head really quick. Um, that way um, I can loosen this. And I just want to take it out just because I didn't want the pistons to connect, you know, damage the valves or anything while we try to loosen that tire crank. Uh, bolt 
And then once I remove the crank, then I can take this timing cover off. We're gonna clean everything. There's a bunch of parts right there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna make sure she's good to go. So we're trying to, um, I'm trying to remove the crank bolt. It's super tight. And I just bent this rod. I tried to put it over the breaker bar to get more leverage, but this is not uh, super fat, but it's still, yeah, it's, uh, it just bent in half. That's a different story. Got this loose. California is too hot for me. This is how I'm counter holding this. And there's a brick on the bottom. All right guys, we just took off this uh, crank pulley. As you can see, so much oil sludge. will have to be really cleaned up and everything. So now we can take off this uh, tensioner and just take off the rest of this timing cover and that will expose the rest of this chain. One eternity later. So finally took everything out. Uh, Tony's cleaning all this stuff, timing cover, all the parts, it's all getting cleaned up. And he actually brought me this old head gasket on this thing. Um, and this is how it looks. To be honest with you, I've never seen a head gasket this bad. It's super horrible looking. Um, yeah, it's literally cooked. Um, so later on we will question Tony and we'll see what he says. But um, he actually saved this car. He told me that he saved this car uh, because it was sitting for a while somewhere with the flat tires. So we will uh, make a quick short interview uh, later on. The water tank is here already. Good. From the junkyard, but it was like perfect. And um, some ho I got hoses already and uh, pretty much everything. Okay guys, I'm just timing this engine right now. Uh, I mean the cylinder head. Um, and we checked, the owner checked the cylinder head so everything is good with that. Like the surface of the cylinder head, there's no cracks, nothing, no warpage, so that's all good. And he was also cleaning it a lot. Um, now, um, I just timed this cylinder head, put it to top that center, cylinder number one. As you can see, the lobes are pointing this way on the exhaust side, on the intake side, it's also that way. It means that all four valves are closed. That's uh, how it's supposed to be. And as you can see, I'm using four millimeter, um, you know, drill bit and it fits in there. Perfect. And it sits on like down there. Rests, it should, they should rest on this uh, surface. 
and this one does, all right? So that means it's timed, all right? And now when you put the cylinder head on and you put the chain on, this, all right, has to be all the way clockwise like that. That's how you install the chain, cool.